Yo, what a sort of my uncles back again with another ADV narration for a World Cup. This time we got Passy G or Passy G. I honestly do not know how to pronounce this dude's name, so I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm not a German expert, so yeah. Like, like I said, I'm really sorry if I mispronounced your name. But uh, he's on Team Germany. We got Winsong on Team Middle West, if I recall correctly. So yeah, starting with this, sometimes I made some like minute mistakes. I, I did, uh, like I said, something about HP Steel Gyarados in the last video when it was like most obviously HP flying. But if I make some other new mistakes, if you see, if you say something, if you see something I say, and it's like completely wrong or some stupid shit, uh, chances are it will be fixed down below in the comments. So yeah, that will probably be a pinned message, pinned message of me just like trying to fix my mistakes because uh, I am a noob idiot. But yeah, looking at this game, we see a Sweeten versus T-Tar matchup, so Passy Genius has to get the fuck out of there with his T-Tar, or else he's gonna get pumped or surfed. Winsong can just fire off a water move basically for free, trying to scout out the uh, the switch in. So yeah, looking at this magic, about to be a about to be a nice one. As I see a Suicune, so Suicunes are mostly run off fat teams. If you see Suicune lead, chances are um, chances are quite there that there's gonna be some Blissey in the back. So we see Suicune, the Suicune answer. Okay, that's it. Uh, it should have rest, otherwise this toxic is gonna be a huge problem. But since he switched it into Suicune, it most definitely has. Uh, yeah, or his seems just like really weird and doesn't really have Suicune counters. But yeah, like I said, I assume it has rest. So Winston can just uh, switch out, I guess. He can also just, yeah, if he's, yeah, I, don't, I was gonna say if he has rest of his own, he doesn't have to scout for toxic. I, I honestly don't know. I think he should definitely just switch out. You don't want to risk too much. And yeah, he should just get the fuck out of there. So a nice weekend on week in action. So I hope he has a Blissey in the back he can switch out into because the Blissey, you know, Blissey, they always make me happy. Blissey are always the best. If you see a nice fat blob enter the screen, then I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but I just get happy to have one of these fat ones. The Estor chat is a bit weird right now because there's like three games going on at the same time. I think there's White Queen versus Eternum was going on at this time, and I think a another old gen game was going on at the same time. So I honestly know, don't know what's going on, but yeah, he switches into Zapdos on the Suicune. As Pashiji anticipates him to, I guess, stay in and just gets up a CM. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that play, but of course he couldn't have known what switched in, so I guess it was fine. So Tebow comes up, does a shit, and that's offensive as fuck, but he gets the para. Oh, this is, yeah, this is gonna really suck, because now he can't really, if it is a wish Rachi, he can't wish up as well. Damn, this is, that, that really sucks. They should just remove 10% chances. This is the, this is some ultra bullshit. I was just here to watch a nice clean game, get some content out, and maybe get free from Dockridge's basement eventually. Because this kid is, like, this man Dockridge is not giving me food until I upload, so I have to make some videos real quick. I was, I, like, I was not really feeling it, but uh, I'm kind of hungry, so, yeah, kind of thirsty as well. And I want some, I want some, I want something, I want something to drink, I want something to eat, so I better make some of these videos. On the real, though, he goes Metagross on the Wish. So Bass G needs to get the fuck out of there. If he has a flying type, he can go on that. Uh, he can go into that on the, um, on the what's it called on the EQ. But obviously, if it's something like an Aerodactyl, he he can't switch it in. He can also go to Suicune if he really doesn't have another switch into Metagross. But I assume he has some, uh, some flying type at least. Some juice, some juice, maybe like a Skarmory or something. Yup, yup, yup. Big Skarmory enters the battlefield on the EQ. Covers like every single move he goes for. Now, Wintong's team most definitely does not have a Magneton. It's it would be really weird for this team to have a Magneton. Just looking at it, so this is the free of spikes. Uh, he can also really be safe and whirlwind, but I think spikes is fine. Yeah, there's no like I think spikes is honestly just fine. If he has toxic, he can predict the Zapdos and toxic, but I think spikes is just all around the better play because I already see Suicune and Magnus has two ground and Mons. You can uh, have a, an effective spike on, so yeah, he gets the spike up. Now the T is gonna come out again. I don't really see counters, but I assume he has a ground. Yep, there's the ground and his big clay doll. He gets BP on by wins on good play. Uh, trying to trying to scout out what the ground would be. It's yeah, it was it was pretty obviously a Claydol or uh, a Don fan if really wild, <laughs> which Claydol yeah, makes more sense because he uh, his team does kind of want that rabbit spin support and a ground type. So Suicune comes out again. Uh, there's just gonna be some Suicune on Suicune action right here. That pump is not gonna do shit, and two PP are gone from the pump. So yeah, the Suicune can uh, stall Wind Song Suicune out pretty easily with that pressure. Juicy ability, mm, juicy juicy. At least that's assuming it has rest, but like I already said, it definitely should have. So Wintong can just go into his Zapdos, take a bit of chip damage. As Passy doubles into his Jirachi. Ooh, but Wintong goes for the CM. This is really bad. Ooh, ooh, this is really bad. Damn. Yeah, I guess he was just Ooh, that's okay, that's some revenge hacks. I was gonna say that's that's like that's like that really sucks, but that's some revenge hacks for the para, at least a little bit. So he gets off the Toxic on this which that's really that's a really big one. So he's gonna eat this. Not for breakfast though, that's a shitload. So this is, uh, Pazzy is going to go into Suicune here, I assume. He can, if he has Protect, he can really be risky and try to go for that. But, I don't know, it's it's a bit risky because he already got two, he already got not parried twice. And he doesn't really want to lose his Raji, although it's really low and it's paralyzed, so it doesn't really heal on too much. So he can try at least, but I think Suicune is definitely the better play here. Just a bit safer, you just get it in for almost free, you stall at two Hydro Pumps. 
there's really no real drawback to that. You get your uh, wish back, except for Rachi just being low. So I assume Windsock is just gonna pump again, maybe a double into like something predicting the Suicune. But this this Suicune is at like, I guess he can double into Zapdos, but yeah, I, I don't know. That's kind of a kind of a weird play. I don't know, this weekend is at plus one, so I, th I assume he's just gonna pump it up. Nice juicy attack. So he doubles into Duck Cho, which is, I get the play, but it's it's kind of weird. Because he doesn't cover the Suicune, which, like, in my opinion, was the most obvious play here. But yeah, I obviously he predicted him to, pr he predicted Pasi G to protect, and he could just trap him with Duck Cho after. So I guess, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's an okay play. Cool double by Winsong, but it doesn't work out here. Um, but yeah, he gets the Suicune nice and healthy, which is really juicy, because now he can just fire off attacks. Zabuz will have to switch him, but that's just gonna get chipped eventually, which is really cool. So, Winsong is just going to go back into Zapdos, I assume, as Pachigi is just going to fire off an attack, I assume, just to get some chip off. I don't really don't really see any other play. He just goes into Zapdos, I assume the surf is going to come out to chip. Yep, nice fed chip. Doesn't do too much, obviously, but, I mean, every single bit of chip helps, especially if it's not rest Zapdos, which I don't, like, looking at the team, it shouldn't be rest, but yeah, anything can happen. So, he predicts the Claydol goes for the Toxic, I mean, he doesn't really necessarily predict the clay doll. Could work on the clay doll and the teacher at the same time. So Tox is definitely the play here. He hit him powers with just a shit ton because it's offensive as fuck. <laughs> and that's up this is strong. So yeah, this is this is actually really scary for Posse G. He's like in a really shit spot. Cause you can just get crit fished upon, so he can't even really stay in. And this is really bad. So Winston can just toxic again, I guess, because it covers the T Tar. Yep, T Tar comes out. Yeah, T Bolt would have been a really wild play, but <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really work out. I think Toxic was just the overall mid ground safe play. So he can just switch the fuck out of there. Doesn't really have a great T-Tar answer revealed because these uh, this Suicune's gonna step on a spike. He's gonna take some sandstorm so it doesn't get HP. It's gonna get toxic chipped. The attack of T-Tar is gonna hurt. Like that's not the best switching right now. Uh, if, he, if he's feeling wild, he goes Metagross, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't really feel that play. He just BPs out, uh, which I like. I don't understand Pastigi's play because I mean, he, okay, he got some lefties. I get that. That's like I guess cool. Uh, if that was if that was his plan, just to get a bit of lefties, I guess that's a fine play. But I think just attacking was also fine because that was obviously just going to baton pass. You're not going to get the double in. But yeah, he does get a bit of lefties, which is really, really good for him. But I assume, yeah, from from the mods revealed, Metagross is the only play that comes in. And Metagross actually kind of goes in, sort of. It, I mean, it doesn't really go in, but it can beat the Skarmon if you want, especially with some boost. This is looking like a big, big, big threat uh, if he gets a meter match boost. But of course, he's already lucked, so I don't... Uh, let's uh, If Karma is a thing in Pokemon, if, like, if the Hacks gods are... Uh, are with us today. That's not gonna happen. No boots today. But yeah, Metagross does come out. He can just fire off a Meteor Mash. If he goes into Skarmory, he can spam Meteor Mash because obviously Skarmory does not have Roost in this generation. And yeah, he can just spam past it. Although he can just protect PP Stall a bit. But if he gets like the first boost here, that that's like gonna be mega over. If Posse G just goes into Suicune immediately, he can just lose that shit one on one. Because actually, if he has rest. He can he can go into it, but that's like risking the boost a bit too much. But yeah, he does have pressure, which could really help there. But he doesn't know the Metagross set. I don't think he knows the Metagross set yet. I don't think he has clicked a move, so it could be some mixed shit as well. So yeah, this is a really hard turn because like Metagross in ADV is just like Greninja in uh, Ultra Sun Moon OU kind of, because you never know if it's gonna be Protean or Ash. Aka, you never know if it's gonna be mixed or Banded. So it's kind of hard to switch into, especially with some correct prediction from the Metagross wielder. But if it is bad, he can just meter mash it up. So, Pachigi scouts actually- I mean, he doesn't really scout, he just goes into Skarmory hard. Yeah, meter mash doesn't do too much, he can just protect up here. Or you can predict the switch to Zapdos and get up another spike, which would also be an okay play. He can also whirlwind, but I don't, I don't really feel that play. So, it, 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 in my opinion, it's either protect or spikes. He can whirlwind if he just really doesn't want to risk some misses, but he gets to play right with the protect. So here he can lay up a spike, and then if Winston gets the boost, that's a, that's a big, big threat. I don't know if Meteor Mash into boosted Meteor Mash kills, but he doesn't get the boost, so he can just freely whirlwind him out here. Because, yeah, if he doesn't whirlwind, he's really playing with boosts. But, I don't know, he doesn't, like, he doesn't lose to the Metagross if he gets a boost here, but the boosts are scary. Obviously, there's still, like, the miss chance, which he should miss eventually. He should have missed all three <laughs> because of that T-Bolt pair, that really sucks, but I, I think Whirlwind is the play here. Uh, obviously, Protect into Whirlwind, like, yeah, that's pretty obvious. Protect was obviously the play right there, but yeah. I think Whirlwind is the play. He can get up his third layer of spikes, but he doesn't really have the best Metagross answers. But if his last mon can kind of take it on, there are not a lot of mods in this tier that can one-shot Metagross, so... I don't know. I think Whirlwind is the play. But yeah, another spike would be fine as well. Wintong's just gonna spam Meteor Mash, I think, and just go for this. Uh, he can get, I, I guess he can get another spike then tax. He stalls out two Meteor Mashes, but uh, the, boosts are, the boosts are gonna be scary, dude. Uh, yeah, this is this is this is the problem with Skarmory as the Metagross answer. Obviously, it's not like the only Metagross answer on his team, but uh, the boosts are a threat, and Metagross is just a big threat with some correct hacks. 
So yeah, let's see. Uh, Patsy, you're really thinking about this turn. I mean, it is it is a hard turn, so I get that. So meter match comes out. Let's see what Patsy G does. Oh, the boost. Oh, not like this. Oh, and he gets a spike. Oh, no, 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 not like this. Oh, that's really bad. He just tacks up. Yeah, this is going to kill. So he can go for the miss here. He doesn't really have another play outside of staying with Skarmory anyway, so... Uh, actually, oh, no, 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 Suikun is a fine play as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What am I saying? Suikun was a really good play. But he gets another one. Because, <laughs> I, yeah, I forgot it was rest Suikun real quick. So, yeah, that's that's a nice new mistake, but I fixed it immediately. Yeah, Suikun was a fine play. He can rest up the stall out, out uh, a lot of PP from the Meteor Mash here. Meteor Mash only having 16 PP, if I recall correctly. But uh, he can stall out four with Suikun here, then two more with Skarmory. But I don't know how... M I don't know what the PP count is on this Pokemon right now. So, I'm just going to pause it and see how many PP he has left. Okay, so we are back. Uh, if my calculations are correct, um, they, it's, this is going to be bad if I if I get this wrong. But he already lost 7 PP, so he's at 9 right now. So if this Suicune stalls out 2 more, he's going to be at 5. Yeah, he's going to be at 5. Then if Skarmory stalls out 2 more, he's going to be at 3. But this is still a threat. This is still going to claim a few lives. So that's, that is really sucks. But uh, I, I really hope he has rest, because if he doesn't, that's going to be an issue. If he has a last that can kill Metagross after a Surf, that would be that would be really good for him, because he can just Surf it up, chip him in range, but kind of doubt he does have that. But yeah, this is a huge threat. Like, Windsong is hacking past you just shit, dude. This is like an ungame. Like, all these boosts and the para, yeah, this really sucks. Because if, if the para didn't happen, he, like, Passage could have just, uh, like, used Rachi to counter this. I mean, not counter, but, like, at least waste a lot of PP. So, both thinking about their turn. I don't know what Windsong's thinking about, to be honest. Like, Meteor Mash kind of the only play. I guess he can switch out, but this Mon's at plus two. This, like, this is the best it's gonna ever put in work. So, it is rest, so. PP goes down to 7 after this Meteor Mash. No miss, which... Uh, oh, and he gets another one! Oh, not like this. I think that might have been a roll. I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm not going to calc right now, but... If that was a roll, that another boost really, really, really sucks. Holy shit. I thought that... I thought that 2 ko would uh, anyway, but Suikun is really fat. I thought it would do like 55, but nah, never mind. So yeah, uh, as I said, if that was a roll, that another boost really, really, really sucks. So a miss would be really justified, because he's hit like... He's... He's... Uh, even even the ones on the protects he's hit, although it doesn't really matter, but I mean they still hit all of them. If he meter mash again, he's gonna be down to five. If he misses and then he hits again, like then he's gonna be down to only a few PP. He's gonna be down to only three, and then he wastes two on the Metagross. Ugh, this is so bad. If it's Tech Rachi, you can get some techs on with that boy, and I assume it is. I assume it's Wish Tech Rachi, uh, which is the which. Uh, so <laughs> good lord, meter mash, yeah. yeah. So Passage is confused by the power of- I mean, I'm not confused, he's like, what the fuck, what is this? Like, look at that nice thunk. Uh, I don't know if he means- I don't know if he's talking about, like, the, the huge power- uh, about the power, because the power uh, got nerfed. Or if he's talking about the accuracy and that he didn't miss a single one. Not too sure what he's talking about right now, but, uh, yeah, both of them make sense. Man, shook. So, he is down to 5 PP on the Metagross. If I'm wrong, I, I don't know. So, he says 7 left? What? It's not 7. Uh, so someone said, how many does he have left? But I don't think it's seven, right? It's like four right now? What? Oh, what, did I, did I like miss a few PP or what? What? Okay, I don't know what, I don't know what they're talking about. Like, it has, it has less than seven. Yeah, yeah, he just used two. It has like three right now, I think. It has five? What? Okay, I don't know what the fuck they're saying. Uh, am I missing something? Like, pressure is a thing in this genre. Am I missing something? It's three, I think. Uh, I don't know. Like, if I'm wrong on this, I'm just a huge noob idiot. But there's pressure. Like these kids are not. These kids are not thinking about pressure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Some people get triggered when me as a kid call like adults kids. But you know, <laughs> that's just how it go sometimes. But yeah, he can just tech up here, and hopefully just stall a few PP. But this is this is a big fucking threat, dude. Still. Uh, so analysis geek saying it's five, but. Uh, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I see Pasha saying plus three struggle, but that's actually going to be a threat as well. Struggle's going to do a shit ton still. So yeah, this is, uh, yeah, Pleasure Set's basically over, which I definitely agree with that. Like, it's not, like, this Metagross is not going to sweep, but the teams are going to be weakened. I don't think Passage can win this because of all that hacks. Really sucks. He does get the tech off, no para. The miss, ooh, it goes to the side. So he needs a miss here. It's at two PP, I think, now. Uh, again, unless my calculations are wrong. So if you can tech up here, um... Yeah, if these calculations are wrong, I might have to redo this narration because <laughs> I ain't trying to be like an embarrassing dog here. Um, yeah, I don't know these kids. These kids are seeing something that I'm not seeing. But yeah, from my calculations, it's two right now. So he techs up, it fails. He tries to get the double tech, but he gets the miss. So uh, he can tech up again. He can tech here. Um, this is a pretty obvious tech though. So Winsong might go duck show. I would have. I go. I would go duck show here to be honest. 
uh, if, if, uh, again, like, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he switches out, not to Dark Shiro, though, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, so, uh, everyone in Esther chat, I think, was wrong, because they all forget about pressure. Uh, unless, like, I'm wrong. <laughs> in that case, I'm, like, a huge, 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 huge noob idiot. But yeah, he gets a CM up on the full power. Nice luck again. So, uh, as soon as the CM pass, because uh, it's already revealed Toxic Rachi, like, there's no way you just start setting up on a Toxic Rachi like this. Although, the Celebi can actually put in a lot of work. Doesn't really matter. It is pass. Okay. So he passes it along to Gengar, which is really scary. Uh, I don't think Gengar does too much. Not even a plus two to Rachi, especially if it's some spit F set. Uh, it shouldn't do too much. Yeah, okay. 50 has quite a lot. Fire Punch. He's trying to go for the burn. No burn. Not even a little bit of revenge hacks. Damn, dude. That's really, really bad. Holy shit. So text comes off. Uh, he at least gets the text. I think he needs. I was going to say that text kind of an, a weird play, but I think he needs the tech to survive the next few, so it makes sense. Yep. He does. He gets the full para again. So now if he techs up, he eats another one. So yeah, tech was the good play there. But yeah, Gengar's not getting chipped because it's leftovers. Yeah. This is this is just really bad. This Gengar just puts in so much work here. This Raji can try to stop it at least, but you know. He obviously can't toxic it because it's a poison type. He gets up a wish here, which is cool, but like you're not going to be able to PP stall this Gengar. Yeah, there's the full para. There's the mega hacks. Passage was trying to like wish tech out of there, but yeah, this is over. So he goes into his own... Uh, what what like what's the plan? He's trying to like ice punch freeze or what? What's 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 the plan here? Yup, that is the plan. Ice punch freeze does not come out. Not a little bit of revenge hacks. Yeah, damn, this is gonna be a six zero because of hacks. That would like really suck. Damn, this this is an ungame, dude. This is the fattest of amount of ungames. So I think the decker slurp up a hit because he turns ice punch thick, uh, and he can I guess get one kill. So to, to just to prevent. Oh what the fuck? <laughs> Pulls out that hidden power and does like ten million. That does a bit too much. And Rockstar gets a kill. So six zero equals prevented. But the Zapdos just wins, the Suicune just wins, like, everything on Win Sang scene basically just wins from this point. So this game was 100% decided by hacks. Obviously, uh, the, the, like, the Metagross was bound to get a few a few of those uh, meter mashes, but the real thing that, like, kicked Pash G in the nuts is the uh, T-Bolt the para. That's the thing that really decided the game, so yeah. Pash G does not want to, like, recover spam because it literally does not matter. So yeah, he just takes the L home. This was this was not a this is not a fun game to watch at all, to be quite honest. But yeah, if you still enjoyed, uh, leave a like and leave a comment below if I fucked up anywhere, <laughs> especially with the PP. It's gonna be quite embarrassing if I fuck up there. So yeah, uh, check out my channel as well if you can't get enough to hear a nice child in your ears, uh, you fucking nonce. So have a good day.